LB50 is back since you saw it last I installed the Pliny big bore kit uh, also up up jetted the stock carb from I believe the factory jet is a number 60 it has a number 72 jet in there now and then um, you can check out what I did to this exhaust on the moped army forum for the LB50 but I basically there's there's two chambers in this exhaust um, and I drilled holes to, to assist airflow between the two chambers also remove the spark arrester um, also notice I'm missing a bolt here but uh, that's about it it picked up a lot of power on the big end especially and a little bit of torque down low so I'm gonna set the camera up uh, we're gonna go for a ride I am gonna put my phone up here because the other day when we were cruising my sister was riding this I was riding an LB80 uh, I my speedo was reading 35 and hers was way down here in the 20s so don't know if there's a calibration issue with these speedos in the in the higher uh, mile per hour range, but nonetheless, I'll have the uh, my phone set up here, so we'll be able to we'll be able to see. I'm gonna let this warm up. Finished the PW80 swap. It's about 90% of the way there, but I thought I'd, I'd film it since it's functional. Um, this one isn't just any ordinary one. It's a clone carb off Amazon. Uh, the inside throat measured 15.2 millimeters. That's a big step up from what I measured the stock factory carb at 11 millimeters. So this alone would be a good upgrade for your LB, LB50. I then proceeded to bore out the throat even more, and I think it's I think 17.6 is what it, I finally settled on there. Um, had to make a little stainless sleeve uh, to take up the slack in the cable. It's kind of crude, but it, once I'm done fine-tuning it and wrapping it up, it'll, it'll serve its purpose. Haven't hooked the choke back up, but the choke's uh, mechanism seems to work with this clone carb. I just, like I said, haven't hooked it up. Other than that, the only other modification I had to do to get this to work is um, the plastic shin that goes between the intake and carb. I had to thin it out a little. Um, it's just ever so slightly too big. Uh, other than that, um, it's ready to go for a ride. I'm not going to take it on the same route I took it on in previous in this video um, because it doesn't need it, as you'll see. Uh, the acceleration is much improved. Um, I don't know if there's much change in top speed as of now, uh, but it's it's blown through the gearing right now. It's a 1328 gear, and it's it's not stout enough. It could use a, a 14 or a 15th front tooth sprocket. And that'll be in the next video, but let me warm it up, and we'll go for a ride. jet right now it's right in that power band in second gear
acceleration. cut the video so I don't have to bore you with all the riding but what you should be able to tell immediately is the acceleration is night and day better uh, than it was in the beginning of this video I think I might put them side by side just so you can see um, so overall uh, it's great I, I'm not winging it too high um, it gets right up to the mid 30s as it did before but it gets real this, the engine starts shaking it's it's clearly it's turning too much rpm um, so like I said we're gonna try higher gearing in the front uh, this weekend and then there'll be a subsequent video once I get that all dialed in as long as as well as tidying up the carburetor so hope you enjoy the video stay tuned